Hello YouTube, this is NPD News, I'm T, and today we are going to be discussing how narcissists are never satisfied. Since we do not have any current um, listeners, followers, subscribers um, sharing any of their stories, I'm just going to tell you my story on how I had experienced some um, dissatisfaction, constant dissatisfaction from a narcissist that I was around. So the narcissist that I happened to be around was a covert narcissist, and I always ended up hearing, like, backhanded comments and uh, just a lot of passive-aggressive behavior. And so my story is basically just um, going to be about how there was a time where I had thrown this uh, birthday party for this woman's grandson, and she was... Um, dissatisfied with the fact that I had forgot to purchase a box of pizza so the funny thing is is that now her grandson one he's not my child two I paid for the party so the place of the party was at which was at the zoo which is pretty expensive I paid for um, the the thing all the decorations and um i paid for the invitations so to to make the invitations um online so i did all that and again this child is not my son and i did this because i cared and because i loved this child so i did all of these things and before we even headed to the birthday, she and her husband were already making food for everyone. So I already previously discussed with her husband that I wasn't going to buy pizza because everybody could buy food or they could eat before they come. He said that he would get it. So I left the whole information packet on the fridge for everyone to look at and they could make the decision on whether or not they were going to get the pizza. I did everything else. That was left up to them, but they didn't do that. Now, we get there, and everything is fine, and then all of a sudden, here she comes going, where's the pizza? And I say, there is no pizza. I didn't get any pizza. You guys were the ones supposed to get the pizza. And she goes, oh, no, you didn't tell me, and, you know... um. Then she goes and tells her sister and, and says she forgot the pizza. And then her sister is also a narcissist and is over dramatic and goes, Oh my gosh, you forgot the pizza? And I'm like, Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's fine. Like, I don't care. Everybody's having fun. They're eating cake. Everyone's watching him open his gifts. This isn't the time to be worrying about a box of pizza. On top of the fa- on top of the fact that you cooked food for everyone anyway. So Everyone had a good time. Clearly, the child had an amazing time. The kids at the party had an amazing time. The adults had an amazing time. Um, And I was happy that everybody else was happy. That was my concern, is that everyone had a good time and that the child was happy. And that was basically fulfilled. My wish was fulfilled. So later on, um, Everyone, you know, they had their good time. They ate the food. They had cake and watched uh, her grandson open gifts and stuff like that. We go home and she brings up the box of pizza again and says, you forgot the pizza. You didn't tell me. And I said, yes, I did tell you. And this this packet has been sitting on the fridge for weeks now since I started planning the party. So, yeah. And she goes, oh, well, I, I don't even remember what her ex- excuse was. But to me, I think it was less about the fact that I forgot the box of pizza and more just trying to find something, trying to say this year, what you did like wasn't good enough. And if I had done, it would have been better. Um, it was almost like she was trying to say like, um, like it wasn't perfect enough. It wasn't good enough in her eyes. Like, oh, you forgot this. And I think in in all honesty i think she was just um it probably hit some sort of insecure spot within her that i you know i paid for all this you know um and i threw a good party and everybody had a good time it probably hit a place in her ego and 
So she decided to get upset about this and decide that she wanted to tell, basically give a backhanded comment and and say that it wasn't good enough. And it to me, um, to me, I think like it was very pathetic of her to do that because it's like I. Um, be, well, it's be. I think it was very pathetic because it's like your grandchild and your, and the guests had a great time and you're sitting here worrying about a box of pizza everybody is you know out there gone living their lives they had a great time they had a good day at the zoo and stuff like that and you're complaining to me about a box of pizza and like I said, not to mention, you cooked food for everyone. So, what, you were going to cook food for everyone and have me waste money on a box of pizza? To me, it just seemed like she was trying to find something to get at me with by telling me that I it wasn't good enough. The narcissist, they're never satisfied. They can go... I heard that um, she went on a trip. And during the trip, um, the person that went on the trip with her came back. And they ended up telling me that she... All she did was complain. And she wouldn't... And then not only that, but she was texting me. She would text me and complain about all the things that are happening there. And it seemed like just very small things. And it's like, you're in a different state. And right now, in in our state where we are, it's pretty cold. You're in a hot state, going to see your family. Um, You're going to be on the beach. Like, people in the world, some people in this world don't get to do things like that. Some people don't get to travel. Some people don't get to see their family on the other side of the world. And you're complaining about sitting in traffic I know there are times where life, it can be difficult and things can get annoying, but this, it's, it's like chronic disappointment, chronic dissatisfaction, and it just makes you not want to be around a person like that. But I think that the main reason why narcissists, they, they do that is just to basically try and tell everybody else that they're not good enough. So you can do anything and everything for them. And it still won't be good enough. You can give them so much love and attention. And they, the, they, they'll turn around. This person will turn around and say, hey, have a conversation with them. Say, hey, how you doing? I like, I like your hat. And that'll be it. And the narcissist will say, you don't give me enough compliments. And you can give them compliments all day, every day. But you, for, you give somebody else a compliment. That attention is taken away from them. And they're dissatisfied. They're unhappy. They're angry. There is nothing that you can do to fill a narcissist up. You can do anything and everything. Give them everything that they ever wanted and imagined. And still, they will be dissatisfied. So, it is not a problem with you. And I I knew that there wasn't something wrong with me. That I did the best that I could. I knew there wasn't something wrong with me. That... This narcissist just decided that she was going to tell me that there was something wrong with me because she was probably feeling some type of way about herself. So, yeah, the narcissist is not fulfilled within themselves. They're not happy with their lives. They're not happy with who they are. They're not happy with pretty much anything. They're 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 empty. And the only person that can fill being up is that being itself you can only fill yourself up your friend can only fill your their their self up your husband can only fill himself up your wife can only fill herself up your mom can only fill herself up you cannot fill somebody's cup and if you do decide to fill somebody's cup you are taking away from your own cup and eventually you're going to lose yourself and this is why people that are with narcissists that constantly fill up this narcissist's cup, their cups are empty. Their their cup starts to become empty and they feel like 
they're losing themselves. And you hear a lot of narc survivors say that they're losing themselves when they are with narcissists. So it's very unhealthy to even attempt to try and satisfy a narcissist because they will never be satisfied and they can only satisfy themselves. And the only way to satisfy themselves is to look within themselves and they don't like to do that either. You have to look within yourself to figure out what's working, what's not working, why it's not working and what you can do to change that. And sometimes what isn't working is difficult to look at and why it isn't working is also difficult to look at. And narcissists don't aren't well aren't good with com- un- things that are uncomfortable they're not good with discomfort and so that's why they don't change because with change comes pain and narcissists don't know how to handle pain they don't know how to deal with pain so they can't change and they won't change which is why you shouldn't try to change a narcissist you shouldn't try to satisfy them as best you can because the only thing that will come out of it is it might be a little bit good for them but it's not sustainable and it's bad for you so try and give them all try and give them all everything that they want and they will still find something that isn't working they will always try and pick something that isn't good so that is all I have for today about narcissism and dissatisfaction. If you would like to share your story, you can email me at helisyk695 at gmail.com, which is H-E-A-L-I-P-S-Y-C-H-695 at gmail.com. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will be posting a couple more videos tomorrow, so stay tuned for those. Again, if you want to share your story, please email me so I can definitely spread other stories so that other people don't feel alone in this uh, narcissistic, um, this little epidemic that's going on in the world right now. So, yes, that is all I have for today. Thank you for listening. This is T and PD News.